what you have given me is the most profound experience I can imagine. It's a, I'm so filled with emotion about what just happened. I, I just, it's extraordinary, extraordinary. It was really rather beautiful watching him and listening to him say that yesterday. Sarah Cronus is a space journalist and author of Look Up, Our Story with the Stars. Good morning to you, Sarah. Morning, Julia. Look, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. I know you would have much rather have been in William Shatner's space, but uh, he oldly went to where no man, very few men, certainly his age, have gone before going into space. I mean, it was just a matter of a few minutes that they get to go to the edge of space and then back again. But he was clearly incredibly, incredibly moved by the experience given to him by billionaire Jeff Bezos for free. Yeah, I mean, to date, um, fewer than 600 human beings have been to space in the entire history of our species. So William Shatner, William Shatner, who, who played a, a space explorer in the 1960s, um, in year 2021, at the age of 90, became the 598th human being to ever go to space. And to date, the vast majority of people who've been to space have been military men or, or people from scientific backgrounds. But what this new era in space exploration represents, and I need to stress, it's much, much more than space tourism. It's just space tourism on as the, the headlines and rightly so. But it represents new types of people being able to access space. So no longer is it just about those, those niche educated people, but William Shatner represents an artist, an actor, someone who can communicate why space exploration matters and the found impact of actually going to space and be able to look back and see the earth i don't know whether julia you saw that footage of him while in space he's yeah. just looking out the window he is in awe of it and and he can relate to people in a way that other people can't and and over the next few years and it sounds like science fiction we're going to be in the thousands perhaps even the tens of thousands of humans have been space oh, and how mean, can they relate to their community uh, uh, in a way that american astronauts absolutely I, i'll start saying nice things about jeff bezos if he'll let me go in his space car for free i have to say um i mean he was really really moving and and, and what was interesting was of course that uh, william shatner was saying he wants everyone to see this and he was talking about um uh, about people understanding the planet and how you know fragile that house how narrow uh, that how thin the the earth's uh, atmosphere is and looking out into the blackness of space very different from looking up and seeing a clear blue sky and then afterwards we had another william who's been in the news the duke of cambridge of course prince william criticizing this sort of billionaire space race of course it's not just jeff bezos it's elon musk and richard branson as well spending their their own money as far as i'm concerned they can do what they want with it um, but having this space race he's saying it's detracting focus from addressing uh, climate change here on earth he said we need some of the world's greatest brains and minds fixed on trying to repair this planet not trying to find the next place to go and live i mean quite apart from the fact that i don't know what it's got to do with prince william i'm not sure what his qualifications in uh, uh, space travel or climate uh, uh, climatology are at all but um we know that it's absolutely vital i mean this is up there with you know walter rally and, and uh, you know and christopher columbus you know traveling across the atlantic for goodness sake exploring is what human beings do well, yeah, I think, you know, humans are built to go over the hill and, and built to explore. A couple of points there that I really want to pick up on, and, and you said some great things yourself. Um, first of all, I, we get it wrong in the media. The media gets it wrong when they talk of a billionaire space race. It yeah. isn't a space race. It's because all we've been doing in space in the 60s, it was a race then. But this is about extending humanity's presence beyond Earth. It's be about becoming a multi-planetary species, which sounds yeah. like science fiction, but so does William Shatner going to space. Yes. It all sounds like science fiction and it's happening now and that's what's so exciting but it's much much more than the billionaires it's about you know just as with them um, your governments go first then private industry follows private industry can take risks that governments cannot absolutely this is this is the future of the human race for goodness sake I mean, 